This one from Aurelio Morales, who asked, if the Mets were to sign Trey Turner, should they look to put him at second or try him in center field? Joe, you and I kind of had an interesting combo about this uh, behind the scenes, the center field situation. It kind of feels like the unknown right now with Trey Turner potentially there. Yeah, it's all over. I'm seeing on Twitter and everywhere be like, oh, yeah, sign Trey Turner to play him in center field. His skill set seemingly would translate to center field. He's fast. He's athletic. Uh, the reality is the last time he played center field was 2016. So it's not as if there is this very recent sample size where he's been versatile and been out there. He basically hasn't played it in years, whereas second base is something he at least played uh, during the 2021 season when he came over with Scherzer to the Dodgers. Uh, they had Corey Seager over at short, so uh, Trey filled in at second. My guess would be if they signed Trey Turner, which you know, it's an interesting idea. I think he adds a dynamic to this team that they're lacking. And, you know, it may not be quite the thump that you and I have talked about, but a unique speed element, extra base hit, contact ability, high average and on base skills. Uh, Trey Turner's kind of the total package that still could hit you 15, 20 home runs a year. Um, but I would guess, you know, I, I don't know for sure, but I would guess they'd probably look at him as an infielder. And maybe that means Jeff McNeil becomes a almost every day outfielder in the corners and Starling Marte finds his way back to center field. Turner's definitely interesting. It's he definitely is on the side of speed contact high batting average but i will say he hit 21 homers last year he hit 28 the year before that and then when you look at 2018 19 counting full seasons he hit 19 each of those years so yeah i mean you're right joe he's not the thump like you're not getting 35 home runs from trey turner but 20 to 25 with speed and average i mean it would be exciting for mets fans i think it just goes back to the overall trey turner in a vacuum is exciting it, you celebrate it you can't wait you know he's going to make your team better the question is what does the blueprint look like if trey turner is your move are you trading for a center fielder because you're not also going to pay nimmo 20 to 25 million dollars that's the hard part about putting turner in the puzzle without the other pieces